and again I know these seem very ambitious. Please don't be in the comments like, it's impossible, you can't. I don't wanna hear it. Let me be a bit delusional, go big or go home. The new goal that I've set is now, and that's what I wanna hit in 12 weeks. Hey, hey, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Montel. If you are returning, welcome back. So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing how I actually plan on achieving my goals this year using a system which I've recently come across called the 12 week year. So the 12 week year is a concept slash system that was created by Brian P. Morgan and I've actually got the book here as well. Now I haven't fully read the book yet, I am working my way through it but I have listened to a lot of trainings and watched a lot of videos and audio on this concept of a 12 week year and I just fell in love with it. So the concept of a 12 week year is to achieve your 12 month goal in the space of 12 weeks. So there little slogan or tagline is get more done in 12 weeks than others do in 12 months. The 12 week year incorporates the proven disciplines and principles of effective execution into the context of a 12 week execution cycle. I really like the idea of working in 12 week cycles or 12 week sprints because if you think about a year, each quarter is 12 weeks. So if you're working on a quarter by quarter basis, it makes you goals feel so much more attainable and in reach because you're not having to wait for a full year to achieve your goals. You're shortening that space of time into 12 week cycles. So you're seeing results a lot quicker. And it also just helps you to stay motivated and on track of what you are doing. Sometimes when we set goals for the year or 12 months, we can maybe just fall off for a couple of months and not really be monitoring or tracking. And before you know it, you blink and the year's gone and you're just like, oh, I didn't achieve anything I set out to achieve. Now I have to start the whole 12 month cycle again and not achieve the same goals again. So we are not doing that this year. We are gonna set ourselves 12 week sprints where we are gonna set an achievable goal. We're still gonna set the bar high and we're still gonna be very ambitious, but we do want to look at setting goals that feel more achievable and goals that we can break down into weekly achievable goals. So you've got the 12 weeks, which is three months. Then you are gonna set monthly goals. Then you can break that down into weekly and even daily goals. And because you are working within a 12 week cycle, it's easier for you to maintain that focus and actually achieve that goal. I've recently been using Notion as well. I know all the babes are using Notion and honestly, it took me about a month to really get the hang of it. And there were so many times where I was just thinking, you know, what, I'm not even gonna bother using this. But now I have found a system that works so well for me and it's just minimal and exactly what I needed. So I will go in more depth in another video on the actual template and my full dashboard set up in Notion. But for this video, I'm going to just show you my 12 week year template. And this is something I have created myself as well. So I will kindly gift you the template as well because I want us all to win this year. And and yeah, I'm just really excited for this new way of productivity and a way that I think will actually work for a lot of us and we're actually gonna start seeing real changes and real results in our life. So I'm going to be taking you inside my Notion now. And quick side note, the Montel that you saw in the last frame is not the same Montel you are seeing today. <laughs> this is Montel from the future. It's been about four days since I recorded the first version of this video. And I showed you inside my Notion and everything. And then I realized, nah, these goals ain't gonna cut it. So I took some more time to reflect. And now I've got a fresh set of goals, which I'm ready to show you all because I am being so intentional about this 12 week year and I'm taking it really seriously. And the goals that I set, a couple days ago, I looked at them like, these ain't big enough, it's not enough, because I had like 50k subscribers, I had um, a few other things on there, which I just thought, you know what, I'm going big or go home. And that is the purpose of the 12 week year, it's for you to set your 12 month goal and achieve that in the space of 12 weeks. Now, of course, that may seem very ambitious and you may not hit that, but as the quote goes, which I absolutely love, shoot for the stars, land on the moon. Well, this is awkward because the saying is actually, aim for the moon, land amongst the stars. So if you hear me saying this quote again, that's what I'm trying to say, okay, okay.
So that's how I'm seeing it now and especially with the current growth that I'm seeing on my channel I just thought 50k I'll probably hit that in the next couple of weeks so I wanted to go big or go home so the new goal that I've set is now 100k subscribers Damn. and that's what I want to hit in 12 weeks so let's take a look inside my notion so as I mentioned this is the template that I have and this is something that I personally created based on the 12 week year so I do have the rights to this template and like I say, I will kindly give you it as well. So just do um, check down in the description for this template. What we've got here is first you wanna have your one year goal. So this is what you want to achieve within the next year. So you can see for me, I've written that I want to have 50K per month in passive income. Very ambitious, I know, but that is a goal that I want to set. I also want to be launching international retreats, or should I say relaunching because I used to host retreats and I do want to get back into doing that. I also want to be fluent in Spanish and advanced in pole fitness. So there are some of my long-term slash 12 month goals that I want to achieve. Now to break that down for this 12 week sprint, my core focus is gonna be my YouTube channel. So really ramping up the subscribers and reaching that 100K, which right now I have so much belief that it is possible and I can achieve it. So I'm really excited for that. Another 12 week goal I've got is to be fluent in Spanish. And again, I know these are ambitious goals, but shoot for the stars, land on the moon. So previously I had on here that I wanted to be semi fluent in Spanish. And what's the point in that? I might as well just say, yeah, I wanna be fluent in Spanish. And then at the very least, I'll be semi fluent in Spanish by the end of the 12 weeks. And finally, I want to um, be able to do the front and box splits. So I purchased a course back in like September last year and I still haven't done it. And I really want to become more flexible because of course that will help me out with my pole fitness. So now you've got your 12 week goals down, it's time to chunk them down into smaller, priorities and strategies that you're gonna work towards in order to achieve that. So that's the next stage of the template. So you can see that for priority one, that is hitting 100K subscribers. So my strategies to do so are going to be uploading three times, sorry, five times per week on my channel, planning and scripting videos on my content plan, which is also something that I have created in Notion. And I will show you that more in depth in another video, but for right now, this is just about the 12 week year. Research trending videos, because of course, course popular videos are what get the views and views are what get the subscribers and um, strategy four is going to be scheduling multiple filming and editing days just to make sure I'm staying on top of things especially as I'm going to be traveling quite a lot within the next 12 weeks so I need to make sure that I am ahead of the game and I'm sticking to the five days per week schedule and then strategy number five is track my analytics weekly so I can see what's working, what I need to do more of, where I can improve. So that's priority one and strategy one. So now looking at priority two, which was to become fluent in Spanish. And you can see here, I've still got semi fluent there because that was what it was before. So I'm changing that to fluent in Spanish. And this is how I want to achieve it. And again, I know these seem very ambitious. So please don't be in the comments like, it's impossible, you can't. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Let me be a bit delusional. Let me be ambitious because I know if I aim high, I'm expected to achieve a lot more than just being mediocre about it. So strategy number one, 45 minutes of Duolingo every single day. So that's an app I've been using for the past 150 days now. I'm literally on my 150th street today. Um, which is exciting. So I wanna stick to that and do 45 minutes on that app because I do find it very useful. But of course that on its own is not enough to become fluent in Spanish. So that's strategy one. Strategy two is to attend in-person Spanish classes. And that actually reminds me, that's something that I need to do today. So I'm gonna have a look on Eventbrite and I'm gonna look for some local Spanish events in my area, which I've seen quite a few. So I literally just need to schedule them into my calendar and attend. Strategy number three is to respond to Sam, my boyfriend, and Janae, my best friend in Spanish. So we're all trying to learn Spanish. I hate the word try, so I'm gonna take that back. We're not trying to learn Spanish, we are learning Spanish. And of course, with Spanish, the best way to become fluent is through conversation and day-to-day -day lingo. So by just 
sending them a video or a voice note in Spanish that will really help along and it will also support them on their journey of learning Spanish as well. And then finally, strategy number four for this goal is to watch Spanish films at least once per week. Now I'm actually gonna change that because that was what I set as a strategy when I was wanting to become semi-fluent. But now I'm trying to be fluent, that just ain't enough. So it has to be once per day. And then priority number three, which is full front and box splits, is simply to complete the four week stretching course every single day. Cause I've already got it, I purchased it, so I just need to complete it. And I'm gonna put it to the test as well because when I first purchased it, I was like, really? In four weeks, I'm gonna be flexible enough to do the splits? but apparently so, so I'm gonna put it to the test. They are the priorities for my goals, and as you can see, I've only got three key focuses here and three goals, and I have done that intentionally because you really don't want to overwhelm yourself and you want to make sure that you can be super focused on what you have set within the 12 weeks. Previously on my other 12 week plan that I had, I had five goals on here and I just realized that the other two, they wasn't strong priorities for me or at least they wasn't strong enough for me to focus on them within this 12 weeks. I had a few financial goals, I had a few um, personal goals as well and whilst they are still a priority, I see them more towards the end of the year and right now my key focuses are getting to 100K on YouTube and the reason I wanna do that is because it's gonna be a huge milestone and accomplishment, which by the way, I've been wanting to achieve this for the past three years. And the only reason it hasn't happened yet is because I haven't had that focus on it. So I know for these 12 weeks, I wanna have that focus because I know once I reach a higher subscriber count, it will open up even more opportunities than I already have. So when it comes to the financial goals, they're just gonna come naturally as a consequence of me achieving 100K subscribers. So that's the reason I got rid of the financial goal for right now, it's still in the back of my mind, but it's not something pressing for me to achieve right now. Fluent in Spanish, that's something I definitely want to achieve by the end of the year. So it is gonna be a key focus for me probably within this 12 weeks and then within the next 12 weeks and we'll just keep going with it to see how quickly I can become um, fluent. And then full front and box splits. The reason I kept this one in is because trying to get to, I've just said trying again, forget I said that. The reason I've kept this one in is because reaching 100K subscribers on YouTube is going to take a lot of energy and focus and time. So I wanted to have another priority on here that isn't gonna take up too much time and I can still run parallel to me hitting 100K subscribers. So that is the priority section. Now we're gonna scroll down on the template to the next section. And I just want to remind you, this is a template that I created myself. This is the concept that I took from the 12 week year and I created it in my own way. So you may read the 12 week year and want to create a different version or you may see other versions online, things that you may think work better or things that you'd like to add go for it. This is just a basic template on what works for me because I like to keep things quite simple. And there was a few templates that I saw which I just thought, you know what, this is too much and it will overwhelm me and I just won't take the action that I need, which is why I decided to restructure and redesign in a way that would suit me. So what I added on here was these different toggles where you can look into the specific months. So of course in 12 weeks, there's three months. So you've got month one, month two, and then month three. What I've added first is a daily tracker. So I love trackers. I've got a physical tracker, which um, when I say physical, I mean a paper tracker, it's like a calendar. And I love to tick things off. There's just something so satisfying about ticking things off. And I would love to use that one, but I really just wanted to keep everything in the same place for this challenge, which is why I created a tracker on my Notion as well. So on the daily tracker, I've added in the key tasks that I need to complete every single day in order to achieve my goals. And the way I was able to do this is through this table here. So I've added in a table of all the weeks of the month, so there's four weeks, and then the different priorities. So priority one, which was 100K subscribers. Priority two, fluent. in Spanish and then priority three, I'll just write splits. So for week one, I thought about what are the tasks that I need to do within this week. So the key one is gonna be plan 24 videos. Um, I just wanna, I just thought 24 would be a good number just to get me ahead. So plan 24 videos, 
refresh my old thumbnails and titles because if you didn't know the reason why my channel's doing so well recently is because I went back and I updated a title and a thumbnail of one of my old videos and then the YouTube algorithm picked that up and then I've just kind of been riding that wave. So I wanna go back and update more thumbnails and titles so I can get that same effect. The next priority is to track analytics from the last 28 days. So they're the three that I thought of at the moment that I'm gonna achieve this week, as well as of course uploading and filming and things like that. Priority number two, fluent in Spanish. So I need to schedule regular times that I'm gonna do Duolingo. I also need to look for in-person Spanish events. Like I said, I'm gonna do that after this video. I need to send a video to Sam in Spanish and I also need to schedule time to watch Spanish programs. So there are things that I wanna actually get in my calendar. I don't just wanna say, yeah, I'm gonna do it today. I want it to be there physically in my calendar so I know that this is a non-negotiable and it needs to be done. Priority number three, which is split. So I just literally need to schedule regular times to do my stretching course and that is it, that's simple. And you can see there's not a lot in here because realistically, when it comes to achieving goals, I mean, of course it depends what the goal is, but it's very simple. It's just that you actually need to execute on the simple tasks. That's what I found anyway. So I could have I could have sat here for hours and just thought, okay, I need to do, and literally wrote every single detail. But I know that that style of planning doesn't work for me. I need to keep things quite minimal, quite simple. And I also need to remember this is the only week one so week one tends to be more about the planning and then week two is and week three and week four is going to be more about the action taken so what i've realized is it's going to be very reoccurring a lot of the tasks and the action steps that i have throughout the weeks is probably going to be the same so when i'm filling out week two and week three and week four it's probably going to look very similar to week one depending on of course the feedback and the outcomes that i see within each week things may change slightly but i don't see it changing that much so that is the table now back up to this section which was the daily tracker. So now you've got what your priorities are for the week that you wanna achieve. You can then start plugging that into your daily tracker. So for me, the first one is to upload a YouTube video every single day, or at least five days. So I'll probably leave out weekends or maybe I'll, I'll post on a weekend and leave out a weekday. But as long as I can see five blue ticks on here, that's, I've done my job. So that's that one. 45 minutes of Duolingo every day. So I didn't do that on Monday. Um, it's now Wednesday today. So I haven't yet done my Duolingo today, which I will do. Um, watch a Spanish, sorry, four week stretching course. I haven't yet started that. <laughs> I'm not at a good start, am I? That's kind of because I'm officially, oh, I just knocked the camera. That's, that is because I'm officially starting today. So today is a Wednesday and like I say, because I did initially start on Sunday, that's when I filmed the first video or version, and then I was ready to start on Monday, but then I reflected and I thought, this in, this this needs changing. So that's why we're kind of starting officially on Wednesday, but I'm still gonna tick off Monday and Tuesday. But in terms of the stretching course, I haven't started that yet. Watch Spanish film or program. So I don't know why Monday is not tick, because I did watch on Monday and I did watch this morning, so I've done that. Send video to Sam and Janae in Spanish. I have not done that yet this week, but I will do that today. So you can see that this is just a really nice way to track the progress each week. So you can really see where you're up to, where you need to put more focus in and where you need to up your game. And the, the thing that I really love about Notion is this calculation section. So you can start calculating how much percentage of each um, task you've completed and that will really help when it comes to looking at the full overview of the 12 weeks, you can see where you had dips or where you did really well and you could, you've got literally a percentage there for you, which is really great. That's what the months look like. That is all that I have in here. So if you close this one, it's just duplicates. I don't yet have the tracker on month two and month three, but I will add it in. So that's just how I plan to go through each of the um, months by planning what I need to achieve each week and then putting that into the daily tracker for each of the weeks as well. That's the first section. And 
now I just wanted to quickly show you this. So you may have heard of a concept which is the wheel of life and it's where you basically rate all the different areas in your life. So there's eight core areas like relationships, spirituality, health, fitness, physical, love, things like that. They're the kind of key ones. And I wanted to do something similar, but I've created it in a table and I've also added quite a few different sections in here. And the purpose of this is for you to rate all of the areas in your life, give them a rating out of 10 for how you're currently feeling. And then you want to explain why you're feeling like that. And then you want to explain what you would like to feel or what the desired reality is. And then a year from now, you'll go back and rate those same sections again. But I will show you a few of my own sections. I'm not gonna show you all of them because they are quite personal and I do wanna keep them to myself, but this will be available for you on the template. So you can definitely go ahead and fill in each of your sections. So the first one, physical health. So right now I rated that a six out of 10. And my current reality is I'm not doing bad, but there's always room for improvement. I'm averaging at around two to three times per week going to the gym. I'm doing well with cooking meals, but I want to be stricter with my diet. And when I say diet, I don't mean putting myself on a restrictive diet. I just mean that I want to be more strict with my meal plans. And I do want to be hitting my macros, microbes, microbes, macros, micros, um, what is it? Calories, protein, all of that. I want to make sure I'm hitting that because my goal is to gain weight. So my vision in one year is I am religiously following a routine of going to the gym three to four times per week. I am now 70 kg with visible gains. I feel stronger and healthier. I am diversifying my food even more and I'm feeling much healthier. Then next we have the section which you can rate this by priority level. So I have currently rated this as a medium just because it's not a pressing thing for me to address and it's not a very high priority. Of course, I always want to be healthy, fit, feeling strong, energized. So it is a priority in that sense, but for me to put my full focus on it, it's not a high in that priorities right now. And if it was, then it would be in my 12 week year. But for right now, it's something that's a medium that I'm working towards, but it doesn't need to take up too much energy right now, just because I am happy with how I currently am. But like I say, there is always room for improvement. So the next one is spiritual. So I've got this as a five out of 10. And my current reality is that I am making more of an effort to connect with God, but I am still feeling slightly disconnected and I still feel uncomfortable praying in church. That's just me being very open and honest right now. So I gave my life back to Christ back in December, 2021. So very recent. And I have been going to church and I have been praying, reading the Bible, connecting with God. And I do feel like I am growing closer to God, but I'm definitely still a long way to go. So my vision for one year is I feel grounded in my relationship with God and I have felt his presence, which by the way, I feel like I absolutely have now, which is great, but I want that to be stronger. I have read the scriptures of the Bible and found meaning. I am more confident in my beliefs and I can feel the power of God in my life. And to be fair, I do feel this now, but I just really want it to be stronger. So for me, it's a high priority, very high um, priority. The next section, habits and routines. This was one of my lowest ratings and you can see I've rated it two out of 10. So current reality, this area I'm feeling the most frustrated in. I know how important daily routines are for my progression, but finding it hard to discipline myself. I wake up early and go to the gym and eat well for the most part, but it's not consistent. And maybe I'm being too harsh on myself with this rating, but it's literally how I feel. I feel like it's a two out of 10. Realistically, it's probably not. It's probably like a five, but for me, where I want to be with my routines, I want them to be so militant where every single day I'm up at the same time, I'm doing the same thing because I know for me and the way that I operate, I need that extra mental clarity. So routine is the key thing that's gonna give me that. So that's why the rating is so harsh. In a year from now, I have developed my solid molly, <laughs> molly routine. So in a year from now, I have developed a solid morning and evening routine to keep me grounded. I am in a weekly routine with my gym workouts and meal planning. I have created a solid workflow, which brings excitement, ease and flows to my content creation. My results are compounding by simply committing to my routines. And you can see that priority is very, very high. So that's something I absolutely will be working on and need to put a lot of energy and focus in. 
Something else I just want to point out as well, you may have noticed from the language. So in this section, which is a year from now, my vision a year from now, you can see that I'm speaking in present tense. So I'm not saying I will do this or I'm going to do this. I'm saying I have done this, I am doing this. This is how I feel. And I do think that is so important for you to start living out your desired reality from now for you to step into the feeling of the person that you want to become so using present tense will really help you out with that so this is what else will be on the template i have of course deleted mine for privacy reasons but we've got career relationship with partner relationship with family and friends finances emotional state society and community overall energy hobbies and skills and traveling experience and I've also left some space as well so you can add on any of us that you'd like to rate any areas of your life that are important to you so this will all be available on your template and I'll clear out everything else as well so you've just got a blank sheet and a fresh start but yeah that is what the template is looking like so far I'm so excited to achieve these goals and I think that the key thing for me is really being intentional and keeping it simple like I say this is the second probably the third time I've revisited my goals that I've set and I've changed them because I thought this is just actually not what I want to achieve right now it's not aligned for right now because 12 weeks is it's not an it's not a long amount of time it's it's a sprint it's three months although you have to be very ambitious with the goals because you want to set your 12 month goal in 12 weeks you also make want to be realistic in the sense that it's something you actually want to achieve within that three months time because i personally had some career goals some financial goals which i actually thought you know what for the period i'm currently in in my life that's not actually what i want to achieve or at least it's not what i want to focus on if it happens then great but where i'm putting my focus and energy are into these free goals right here so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you go ahead and use notion yourself i'm loving notion by the way i spent weeks trying to find the best template and all the free ones just didn't cut it for me so i actually ended up getting a paid template which i will show in another video but this template of the 12 week year is something that I created from scratch so you can definitely go ahead and use that yourself and let me know how you find it let me know how it goes let me know if you do end up buying the 12 week year as well I haven't finished the book yet but I've already I listened to the audiobook and I already kind of got the concept of the book which is why I felt confident with going and creating the template but I am excited to read the rest of it um, in full and once I have done I'll get back and let you know my thoughts on that. That is it for this one, have a beautiful day, I'll see you soon, crush your goals, be ambitious, do not hold back and I will see you in the next one. Bye!